Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Insurgency Sandstorm because they came out with another update. Uh, I believe it's called the State of Production 5. A lot of people were sending this to me, so I thought I'd cover it. So yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Let's get into it. If you're someone that's new, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell, like the video, and comment and share. So yeah, with that all being said, let's get into State of Production 5. If you would like to read it all in its entirety, all you gotta do is go down into the description because it will be linked there. So basically what this State of Production talks about is how they are going to be at PAX East which I believe is like a Comic-Con event. I don't know, I've never been to one of those, but apparently they're going to be showing off the game with controller support. So that's gonna be interesting for anybody that was looking to try Insurgency Sandstorm on the console. They say that they're going to have their communication director, John Higgins there, along with their community manager, Dara Def. Their booth number is 29017. And yeah, I mean, if people are actually in the general area, if you wanna go check them out, complain to their face and be like, why does game smell too good? I do not understand. And then fart in the face and be like, hey, that's how it should smell. But no, nah, in all seriousness, be respectful. Developers won't listen to you unless you're respectful. Moving on. The next one is interesting because it's um, an apology. Apparently this has to do with hit register and desync issues. There's apparently ghost bullets and desync issues with the commentary. Ghost bullets? What the frack is that? Ooh, scary. It doesn't exactly explain, but if anybody wants to tell me what that is down in the comment section below, I haven't really been playing enough since Urgency Sandstorm to know what this issue is, but apparently they tried to fix this issue but everything that they're doing doesn't seem to be working out initial regression tests related to the proposed hotfixes were unsuccessful and in some cases exacerbated the issue oh that's not good so they can't seem to nail down this issue man that's crazy like after all this time they can't seem to fix this issue because apparently according to this it's been around for a while they thought that they squashed this bug earlier but apparently it keeps finding its way back so this is interesting but yeah let's move on the next one talks about a player reporting features for an expansion of basic support i'm not sure what it means by that but let's take a deeper dive into it oh i see so they made it a lot easier for people to actually report things like according to this it says that they received over 2,000 bug reports during the free weekend and there was a drastic increase on the average amount of team killing that was being reported on the uh free weekend there too man that's a significant increase in a bunch of people that were either hacking or cheating i'm not necessarily sure if this is a good thing i mean i haven't played enough to really see a lot of people cheating in surgery to sandstorm because i just don't feel that there's a reason and too cheap unless you were doing like the competitive mode but i haven't seen too many people playing that so i mean then again i haven't really played it all but i guess that's good making it easier for people to actually report things because it's good to keep in touch with all those uh bugs and people that are cheating and all that the only thing that i could really see wrong with this is like what if people are like falsely reporting people like do they have any way to fight back against that because i could definitely see a lot of people just randomly you know reporting people and that number that's listed on their website that's a pretty big freaking number so i don't know about that one but yeah let's move on the next one is tournaments prizes competitions partnership program and more again i don't know how to feel about this one because i just feel like their competitive mode just really hasn't thrived at all i mean again i haven't played the game in a while so maybe it's gone back up like i heard during the free weekend it was actually doing pretty well but i've been talking to a lot of people that still play insurgency sandstorm and they just tell me that it's not really that big like there's a dude in uh who's a moderator for nwi's discord i forgot i think his name is prevent like i asked him like dude like how often do people play in the competitive mode and he's like mm, not that often there's like a tiny splinter cell that like you know plays around in it but aside from that not too many people like again if the game was actually like a carbon copy of the original insurgency like you know the game had all the features from the previous game and all the maps and all that you know they're like building on top of it then i think a lot of people would have been a lot more happier to see a you know competitive mode like a lot of the players were really looking for that foundation and then that competitive mode would have been the icing on top of the cake i think it would have been even more alive and well but but at this point, I'm just not even sure why they're trying to focus on it because it's just not working out the way that they want to. Or at least I don't think it is. I haven't played it in a while. I'm, j I'm just going off of experience of what I used to play. So when it comes to this update here, the only thing that kind of interests me is this partner program. Like, I'm curious to see what that's all about. But yeah, basically this update is just them trying to improve the competitive scene. They want people who are going to support and promote tournaments through all of their social media platforms. Apparently there's something called the Digital Gaming League. It's their first tournament of the year they have apparently eight teams in the works well this is interesting i wonder if they're like paid all right so i just want to read this partnership program really quick for content creators on january 15th that was a few days from now the goal of the program is to help the creators build their channels and communities around sandstorm to continue to grow across youtube and twitch as much as i would like to do that youtube just dings my channel like every time that i upload a sandstorm video like i almost get no freaking ad revenue off of that so it's just not really viable for me as much as i really want to 
upload, you know, more Sandstorm videos. It's like the most that I ever do is just, you know, put out these updates, but YouTube almost always dings the damn video. I think it's just because it says insurgency and that's pretty much it. But I mean, for people that are trying to do that sort of thing, good luck to you. I wish you well. So let's move on to the next one. This one right here is the meat and potatoes of this whole update. We got new content, a new map, new update teaser. And man, just looking at that picture, it just like this map just looks a lot better than all the maps that are actually out for insurgency sandstorm like everything is just sand and maybe like one snow map insert anakin joke it's nice to get a little green here and there you know this map honestly reminds me of um i think it was battlefield 4 with like the dam that breaks i think the name of this map is called power plant and if i'm reading this right it says that it would be released with a two-week exclusivity window for consoles and would then be released on pc a bit later oh you bastards we thought that this would be a great way of generating some excitement not for me what the fuck so it seems like initially they wanted to do both at the same time and have crossplay, but I guess they were having an issue with that, so they decided to just do console and then PC. But apparently, there's going to be new guns and new cosmetics, which is pretty neat. Can't wait to see all those. They're going to be adding two new weapons in the spring and additional items for cosmetics, both for security and insurgents, including the headset, leather jacket, and masks. So that's pretty cool. I just kind of hope that they add more than just two weapons. And they said in the spring, isn't that a long way off from now, or are we in spring already? It's like really late for me, so I'm so freaking confused right now. Because it feels like there's going to be a big gap of no content. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm really tired. But yeah, let's move on from that. Uh, the next one is adding domination layouts to all maps to expand the mode accessibility. You know, it's kind of funny because in the last update, they said that they were actually adding in the domination mode. But I found it like really confusing because they decided to add it to only like a very tiny amount of maps. And it wasn't the ones that were actually optimized because they were saying in the same update last time that they were optimized all these other maps that weren't going to include the domination so it's just like why didn't you have the domination maps on the optimized maps so like they didn't make any sense to me but now that they're expanding it to other maps thank goodness because that was another complaint that i had how come they didn't just put it for every map i feel like they should have had that done before but you know now that it's here it's here reading this little paragraph that they have with this apparently they fixed the spawns which thank goodness i remember having a lot of issues with spawns they were not the greatest like they spawn me out in an open area and i just get <laughs> so yeah I really like that they're adding domination to every map. I felt like there should have been a thing, but uh, yeah, let's move on. The next one we got AI overhaul to improve the co-op experience in terms of consistent behaviors. So usually when I play a lot of Insurgency Sandstorm, I generally stick to the co-op. I don't mind playing the multiplayer, but I don't like to do it unless I'm actually with like friends or subscribers. Like I just can't play it by myself unless I'm doing it for a video. So yeah, basically the point is, is that I play a lot of co-op and I know a little more about this general area to say that the AI isn't that great. Like you see the AI literally like like tossing molotov from across the map like literally like a freaking mortar or something or ai just like randomly walking backwards as they're looking at somebody trying to shoot somebody else so it says right here on their update the co-op enthusiasts within our community have been hankering for some updates and changes geared towards the pve your pleas have been heard with our biggest update ever planned for later this year codenamed nightfall we'll need to implement and refactor certain aspects of the ai to ensure that they are able to behave intelligently within the context of this release. This includes improving the consistency of the AI behavior for both day and night maps, better supporting new and community created co-op modes and future modes that we release to the community. So that's cool. They're going to do an AI overhaul. That's something that we've been asking for for a very long time at this point. But yeah, let's move on. So the last thing that's here, it says that they're going to be returning with their developer live streams, which I had no idea that, you know, they stopped streaming. But for people that are wondering, they are coming back, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty much the state of production overall. Overall, I think that um, it was just okay. Kind of wish that they, you know, brought more content than what was actually mentioned here. But I guess what's here is good. The map looks interesting. And I can't wait to see what the other one looks like along with the other weapons. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I think the last thing that I want to say before I go is that they have been showing off a lot of the modded maps. I've been seeing a couple of those pictures trickle in here and there. I think I saw one that was basically like a modern warfare map. I think I forgot what it was called. Um, I think it was Shipment, I think. And then I also saw like these other maps that really looked cool. So the modded community is obviously still there and I can't wait to see what that actually looks like when they start coming out more. I'm kind of surprised that they actually made that NDA. It's like the game's already out. Just show it off. I want to see, damn it. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got to say about Insurgency Sandstorm. What are your thoughts on this uh, update here? Let me know down below. If you're someone that enjoys my content, be sure to like, comment, share. I can't stress this enough because the algorithm keeps kicking my ass. Like these videos aren't even making a thousand views anymore. If you're someone that's new, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. I usually cover a lot of tactical games like this one and there's many more to
to come. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. It really does help. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.